Hi guys and welcome back to episode 27 of the Raid series. In the previous episode, we went into Shoreline and we got bullied hard. Like really, really hard. And um, I'm hoping we we avoid doing that this episode and we get on and doing and we do lots of good stuff with lots of success. Um, we did get actually progression at least, but at the same time we die a lot. So it's part of Tarkov. You have some wins, you have some losses, but we're gonna we're gonna turn it around in this episode. So without further ado, let's crack straight into it. All right, so first up, we need to accept the tasks. Uh, the, the new dailies. So it wants us to get three scav thorax kills from 35 meters away for an impact nade. A little bit of XP. Survive two interchange raids. And hand over four flat screwdrivers. Um, <clears throat> we also have 15 streets raids, which I don't think we're going to be able to do. It's a lot of raids, streets. Um... This is this is the predicament we're in. We have a lot of tasks that if we just survive a shoreline raid, we get a lot done. <clears throat> we need to also get this one quest done. That's it's something that's going to gr grind my gears if we don't, and that is to get a uh, the last five more kills on shoreline using an AKM. Now, it is possible, but there's also a task for us to hand over a six B sorry a gazelle armor that's damaged. Um. We might be able to get a barter trade for it soon. Uh, we can't buy it on the flea, but we are also low in cash. So we could sell some stuff on flea, or we could just do a scav run, which is our usual go-to go -to strategy when we get a bit poor. Uh, and it's usually what I do. So um, I don't know how much you guys are getting sick of me just running through factory. So what do we do instead for a scav run? Do we have any specific items that I could show you a place to loot or something? Let's have a quick look. Uh, there won't be any for him. We do have the gazelles. Graphics card, CPU fans. We could do an interchange scav run. Um, I can show you the graphics cards, or all the computer spawns. I think we'll do that. We'll do interchange because we can find some gen go to general wares and show you that those spawns. Also show you where spark plugs spawn. It's finally coming to spark plugs primarily, but I can show you where some graphics, uh, some, some uh, uh, where some batteries. All right, let's get into change and we'll do a scav run. All right, we are in. Oh, there's an airdrop at the same time. That's you really close to where I need to show you for the car battery spawn. Oh, that's just the beef. Out the front by the sounds of it. Oh my god, that's loud. This will all make money. Find a bigger rig in the middle. Yeah, this section of Goshen, this is the left hand side as you look at from the uh, entryway. Great for a for, uh, for shunker in that. Alright, so. I still generally hold to the same principles when I do a scav run on other maps is I just kind of work directly towards the extract and loot everything along the way. I, I just do want to, I want to try and devise scouts. So there's normally scouts out the front. Let's get a bit bigger rig. So I can actually loot more. Or at least a backpack.
Drop them off. Here we go, this is what I want. Cool, so from here, we'll start looting on the way out. Now over here, towards the front of Goshen, these shells could actually spawn like Bitcoins and gold chains and rollers. Most people don't know that, but it's not a really high chance. You'll get gold chains nearly every time, but for Bitcoins and rollers, it's a bit, bit less. It's still worth checking if you're near them. Normally a weapon crate or two up here. All the stuff that we're definitely selling. I'm just gonna chuck in here. As the car battery spawns and spark plugs, these shelves along here. For your car batteries and spark plug needs. You nearly always find at least one car battery and then I'd say one spark plug. <clears throat> and now we're just gonna loot everything along the way out. The GSS H's are just a little bit more basier. I prefer to uh, not use them. And the general rule, I'd get, rule I would give you is just loot everything until you know the value. Early wipe, a lot of people struggle to find the all. Just this one here. Back shells obviously are good. Um, pretty much the main spot that I find it is long here. You look at the toolboxes as well, or hand drills. So that there goes through towards the uh, the battery spawns and that. Now I don't normally loot these, but I'll show you them so you know. If you uh, you know, just like to explore properly. But there's some weapon crates up here you can grab. If you're ever doing zero to hero runs on interchange, this is always a good spot to get a gun. Or uh, at least some sights and, and stuff. <laughs> Normally a weapon crate there. They have four weapon crates in close proximity to each other. If I'd been closer to the front of the mall, I would have gone for the airdrop, but... Look how many scabs are here. Wow, one, two, three, four, five. Probably go have a quick look. It'll be taken for sure. We just have no idea. That's the only problem. Nah, we should get out. We got two spark plugs, two to shonkers. That there sells for like 80k. That's another 30k. We've got a bit of gear over here. We should really get out. It's not a it's not a really accurate way of looking at it, but if you click overall here, it'll show you like it's saying that our loadout is worth 750k. It's not it's not exactly accurate. I'd say maybe 500k 
ish, maybe a little bit less, 400k. But there's a fair bit of value in it, what we're carrying right now. That's, I would imagine that would be the value if you were to buy it from traders. Now, there's a hidden stash on, in the bushes on that side, and then next to that box over there, but we won't get that. Let's just head out. Um, just keep walking, just keep walking. La, 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 la. Now, with the scavron, you usually have both corner extracts, so the Yemicon and the railway. You're joking. I think I was straight up exit camping. That's just lame. Well, there you go. I know I run pretty much only factory as a scav, but you think of the time investment, right? So we may be in that raid like seven, eight minutes. In factory, you're never gonna spend eight, seven or eight minutes there. So get some loot, get out, bam. You're not gonna get as many quest items, but you'll get just a consistent flow of cash coming in. So then you can be on your main, on your PMC. So you can understand the, the reason why I do factory. Um, because if you like die to something like that or a player scav that's like, you spend 15 minutes searching and looting on the scav and then you die to a player scav, it, it feels very much counterproductive. All right, so we're gonna have to sell a couple of items real quick. Um, Paracords can both go. They should be selling for a little bit. Mm. Maybe I'll sell that. How much is it selling for? Well, it's not really worth much. Um, have we already finished the car battery, have we? Probably doesn't sell for a lot, but we'll sell this. We had another one, whoops. Um, pretty much the only items I can see. We've got a little bit of money again. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So we're going to go Shoreline, Comtax. We have 6B helmet. We're going to have to get an AKM. It's Shoreline that is the map that will just punish me more and more. So I don't want to spend too long in there. I want to get the quest done and then I want to get, get out if possible. I know I was a little bit greedy on the last time we went in there, but at the same time... I was just trying to get get her done, you know. Okay, so edit preset. We might be able to just go. It might actually work out pretty cheap to do this. Ooh, that one. Maybe we'll go suppressed. And then... That last light worked really well for us. Let's do it again. Let's not get that. Okay, we've got to change this. All right, so... I thought it would have been cheaper, maybe that one.
and that rail needs to change so we drop that we'll put on the bastion right now that's better You guys wanted me to mod more, so here you go. You've got a little bit of modding done. Not the greatest recall, but we're just trying to make it work. Need some PS ammo. I think that's everything we need. Maybe taking that in a splint. Do we have a splint? La 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 la. There. All right, five scavs, and then we'll head up to the resort and try and get our last items. Make sure we don't forget anything, but I believe we've done all the task parts. We just need to pick up stuff and leave. Or we could just walk out. At any time, we could just walk out and that would be it. We get like a heap of quest done. All right, our beloved shoreline. Kind of wish I brought an SJ6 for this. I don't think someone should have spawned down there. We should have free run down the coast here. <sighs> then we're going to go straight up the center, try and get some scav kills, and then we're going to head to the tunnel extract. I really just want to get the five kills and get out, so... If, if we feel like we can go resort, we'll go resort, but last time... I think we need that wind, you know? That wind under the belt. Also check the hidden stash while we're here. Didn't really fit it. All right, so just pretty much looking down the coast to make sure if any scabs spawn, we could pick them off, which it doesn't look like they have. <clears throat> We're suppressed, so hopefully they'll give us a bit of an advantage and not being chased down by a player, but it's still obviously possible that the scab shoots at us or if anyone just sees us generally, but try to move fairly quickly. Even if it means like full stamina sprints, but the reason for that is so, for example, right now I'm back in a dip bomb to gain stamina. So that's someone shooting at the sniper scav.
It looks like we've missed out on that opportunity. I think I saw a scab at the front of the gas station. If someone was just trying to kill Scars, there's a good chance they go power station and down to here. Fire. Pretty obvious we're not going to be running up to uh, the gas station now. I don't know if that last shot got him, but we're leaving because there's two. He's most likely doing peacekeeping mission. <sighs> Spicy. Sunday night. You just want our five scabs, eh? Now we'll probably try and stay in the shadows a little bit here, but I don't like hugging up against the wall for too long. If you're running up against the wall, you've really only got one way to go. Or you can only go left, right? Whereas if you if you if you come across and you run along in this tree line here, and someone starts shooting at you, you've got multiple ways to zigzag. The door open usually means there's a scab here. But it could be a dead player. Oh, a player's already come through here, see? Touch the body for the XP. We're going to go th through this gap. We could go into west. But we're not. Where are we? I'm dead here. Good night.
like I panicked. So that's the only reason we're alive right now, like I panicked. So, when you get engaged and you're out of position and you've got no other choice, go prone and spray in that direction or shoot in that direction. You might get someone to go to cover, you might get lucky on a hit. It gives you at least a second to figure something out. I think he just straight up panicked. See if we can get a couple of scabs over here and then work out a plan from there. Trying to look out for any players. There's usually two snipers on top of this rock. They're probably both dead, but... Worth checking at least. West 306, West 112. West 306, West 112. West 216. Here are six. One twelve. Hmm. Two 
do I do this? I feel like this is like Groundhog Day all over again. Come on there. I think that's our answer. Let's just get a win under our belt. We'll talk about this a bit. I spoke about this a bit during the cap of speed run. I'm like, sometimes when you have a couple of losses in a row, you should just get a survive under your belt. You can get two scabs here. When there's one, there's usually two. Well, there was four. All right, let's get out. That's a typical shoreline raid. Never a dull moment of uh, PvP or short of PvP. Part of me really wants to go through the village down to the tunnel. Try and get the last couple of kills. I just think we're going to fall short of four. Let's get the dub. Let's get the dub. A couple of quests complete at least. One scav, one player. Level 26.
So with our path thing, we pretty much spawned in along the coastline, ran along the coast. Going from uh, gas station, power station, bus depot, that's a pretty common path to take for killing scavs. And then you've got the Snobbers Gavrock um, and that truck in the open field that has scavs too. And then path to lighthouse. That's a fairly straightforward pathing. I know a bit of a meme of me saying that, but that is fairly straightforward pathing for that. All right, uh, samples is now available and rig game. Just place down three more markers. Eagle Eye is another shoreline task. We have a lot of shoreline tasks to do, so. Game jams are done. The level four memory, done. I need to get this one done because it leads to some factory kills. <sighs> what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I think maybe a cheeky minibus raid. 30k XP to the next level. Should accept those rewards. So we don't forget. What gunsmith are we up to? Well, we should really get some of these gunsmiths done. I know we're not rolling in cash, but... We've got to get them done eventually, and it's it'll get us a couple of levels, probably. Artists for Gratitude, which we have. But later... Um, okay, so we should get the OPSKS sorted because there's a time gate on the one after it, I think. This gear sells this chaos. Rapper. What do I just do? The mechanic barter? Isn't there a barter for it? Two of these, I guess. One, two, three. I think it's just going to be suppressed with like, what is it? Gunsmith. Could do it using the wiki, but let's just see if I can wing it real quick. Let's have an opt optic scope, 20 round mag, 35 recoil, 350, sorry, 35 ergo, 350 recoil. Anything about suppressed? Suppressor. The suppressor. 20 round mag, so that starts that. 35 ergo. 300 recoil. Optic scope. Needs more. has less really look how cheap we can buy one of these on flea does that get us there i wonder all right so we just need a similar pistol grip but we just changed the stock That's the whole stock. Can't change that. Right, 
right, so 35 Virgo. Is it 300 recoil? 350 recoil. We've got the recoil covered easy, so it's just the Ergo now. Uh, if we change the site, it'd be different. Ergo. But yeah, that works. That counts as an optic sight? Guess not. Alright, look, let's look up the answers real quick. Saying to use this sight. Oh, this is the wrong one. This is the wrong one. Okay, so the reason why that didn't work is because we're using the wrong one. We need to use this one. Think. Putting around mag. Gotta edit preset this. We need to change something to put a side on it. Let's tap go, tap go. What are we doing wrong? No, it needs to be okay. It needs to be an OPSKS. Man, I'm I am butchering this badly. Where is the SKSs? There's one. Where's the OPSKS? there right take that stock off everything on this goes on there This will just go straight. So then that needs to go. <clears throat> That's not enough ergo, I'm guessing. That's 40 ergo, but it's too much recoil. So then we got to go edit preset and get something with a slotly. I know it's going to put one of these on. Uh, that one. That'll do. Don't have enough money. Don't have enough money. Look what, what have we done? Butchered all this. Made a mess. Made a mess. Thirty-five Virgo, three hundred recoil, optic sight, depressed. Why does it not saying that we can hand it in? What am I doing wrong? OPSKS, thirty-five Virgo, twenty round mag. Does that sight not count? No, because I put the wrong sight on it. Oh my god! Oh my god! It needs to be this one. There we go. Got there finally. I just use the wiki in the future. Go. <laughs> Save yourself the heartache. All right, Gutsmith Five. This one's simple. You need a uh, M870. And usually it's very straightforward. Couple of barter trades, that's it. We're gonna go edit preset. Uh, you want the cylinder, muzzle brake. You wanna change this over to that one. Uh, you wanna put an M lock on both of it. You can do the M lock or the clamp. Uh, X400. That one works. You wanna switch over to this stock. And that should be everything. Mm. 
and I'm ready to hand in. All right, I've done that one a few times. All right, and that's a, got a cooldown now, so. 24 hour cooldown before we can do any more. Oh, all right, what's the time? Oh, we could get a cheeky scav raid in, I reckon. Cheeky scav raid, see what happens. Let's get some money back up. But a couple more, uh, you, you know, guns with tarts really do help in the end. All right, we're in. Got a bit of squash that sells for a little bit. That's actually a really good pistol grip. We get another another quest. Look, this guy is geared as hell. Now we got a lay on. This is usually where a lot of PvP happens, so it's worth checking. So what voice line that guy's spamming is the one that makes scabs run up to him. Be a guy exit camping. See if there's an exit camera. Blinded by the light. Cool. Bit of money there. Keep the armor and the helmet. Probably get rid of the rest. Oh, I'll keep that pistol grip. Worth a bit. Probably use it on a gunsmith. But that's worth a little bit. We'll chuck it down there. We need a couple of knives for a quest coming up. That should be it. I think you need five. So that's the five knives. Let's put that aside. Um, that goes in there. Worth keeping. That's putting in there. Cool. That'll do. That'll do. All right, that is going to be it for this episode. We uh, we got finally through a survivor shoreline, got a heap of those quests handed in, and we also were able to uh, get a gunsmith done. Two, actually. So that's on cooldown. We need to get like level 27. We get like nostalgia and stuff, which gives us another docs case and some more shoreline tasks. <clears throat> we're in that kind of that weird spot. But Tarkov's still very, very popping at the moment. So it's, it's made it very difficult to like... Uh, because I'm particularly, I'm always filming in prime time. It's getting through a shoreline raid. It's actually been really tough. Um, I haven't been able to like brute force my way or go night time and do all the stuff that I would normally do if I'm having a bad streak. Because I, I really don't like doing night time tasks or tasks at night time uh, for the raid series because it's hard for you guys to see. Um, but I know where I'm running, but you guys have no clue. And it's about teaching you guys and going into the highs and lows of Tarkov. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. 
Say hi to your partner or your mum for me. Or both. And uh, make sure you like, comment for the YouTube algorithm. And lastly, I'll see you next time.